My guest at this time is California Republican Congressman Jeff Denham. He represents the Golden State's 19th Congressional District. He's in his first term, and he joins me today to react to what just about everyone is calling disappointing jobs numbers from the Labor Department, looking back at the month of May and even revising downward some of the reports we saw earlier in the year. Officially, non-farm payrolls jumped by just 69,000 in the month of May. That's well below expectations. The overall unemployment rate ticked up to 8.2%. And, Congressman, it's good to have you with us. Thank you. Thanks for having me again. Whether it's the Obama administration or some other prominent Democrats, a lot of the reaction we're seeing to the numbers today, Congressman, is that, well, it's still positive growth. Uh, That's 27 months in a row. It's not what we would like to see. But, uh, you know, this was a really deep hole that this administration inherited back in 2009, and it uh, even took a few months after they came in to to stop the bleeding, so to speak. Uh, How much credence do you give that explanation? Zero. I think it's frustrating to the American public. Um, You know, I've only been on the job for about a year and a half, but I've come up with a lot of ideas uh, to solve this crisis. There's a lot of regulations that uh, we could get rid of uh, or at least uh, uh, suspend them for a short time to get people back to work. We need to put jobs as our number one priority, and I would uh, would expect the president, rather than blame the last president or, or, uh, you know, going back – to previous presidents to actually show some leadership and get this done. It's ridiculous. In my district, we've got twice the national average. All we need to do is turn the water on so that we can actually get our uh, our farmers back to work. Um, So there are simple things that we can do without pointing fingers. Uh, Just look at the the, the bills we have in the Senate. Those are all simple solutions that would put people back to work immediately. Talk about those a little bit and also the political dimension here that the president's blaming House Republicans primarily, in some in some cases Senate Republicans, for blocking the jobs agenda he tried to, to push last fall. Obviously, you see the, the Senate dragging its feet on a lot of House-passed legislation uh, as, as a reason why things aren't moving. So if you're the typical voter here who doesn't necessarily follow every uh, twist and turn on Capitol Hill, how do they sift through this? Well, it's one thing for the president to blame Republicans, but don't forget his first two years he had solid majorities in both houses. He had uh, Democrat uh, control of the House, Democrat control of the Senate, and uh, he certainly could have requested any bill that he felt was important in those first two years. But let's just talk about this year, since his freshman class has been in, not only have we been showing leadership in the House, but if he doesn't like our jobs bills, uh, have the Senate send us something. Send it to the Senate. His own party could push it out, his own agenda, uh, and uh, allow us to, to, to work on some of those bills. There are things that both Republicans and Democrats agree on. We need a president that's going to show some leadership. Mitt Romney just wrapped up the, the delegates he needs, at least committed delegates, to win the Republican nomination. Do you get the sense that uh, he's got the type of plan that you think is going to make a big difference on our jobs front? I do. I think that uh, not only does Mitt Romney have the uh, the business experience, but he's got the executive experience to get things done um, in a very tough state. So I'm confident that he's going to do a very good job on the economy. Um, you know, I don't expect him to come in uh, with these high unemployment numbers and blame uh, this president. I expect him to come in with a very aggressive jobs package to get the job done. You didn't hear Reagan blaming Carter. Uh, you know, we just need leadership, regardless of party, to get the job done and to show some leadership. Again, if he doesn't like our plan, then, then put a plan out of, of, of his own. Uh, make sure that, you know, he's got control of the Senate. Have the Senate actually get something done. Congressman, thank you very much for your time today. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. California Republican Congressman Jeff Denham represents his state's 19th congressional district. I'm Greg Columbus of Radio America reporting for World Net Daily.